Yo, what is up guys? I'm back here with another Destiny Child video today. And in today's video, I just wanted to explain the House of Reincarnation for all of the new players or returning players that haven't seen this part of the game before. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, essentially, the House of Reincarnation allows you to grab your dupes of childs that you have no use for anymore or, um, or you don't want to use. You can base it off of tier list if you're like that or if you're collectors let's say you plus six the child already and you just have no use for them anymore um you can pick six up to six childs here in the summon list to um reincarnate your previous childs into so let me just explain this easier you pick six childs here that you don't have plus six so i have none of these uncapped to max and I want them in exchange for my five stars six stars or four stars the first tab is restoration reincarnate four star child as a five star child so you can come here to the first tab if you have four star childs and you would need blood gems and onyx the minimum you can do for one roll is 12 blood gems it will cost 12 blood gems and 5,000 onyx so you would put in five four star childs and you have a 10% success rate right now if you summon this. So you would need 12, 5,000 onyx and five four stars. And if you don't roll the five star child, which is 10% chance, um, you will gain mileage right here, this blue bar. And as soon as it goes up, you can claim and you will receive a five star child. So it's kind of like a pity roll, pity bar. If like you're constantly not rolling the five star child, you hear me? So you can also bring this percentage up by adding multiple four stars. You see the percentage is getting way higher now, but the cost does go up as well. So you want to keep an eye on that. So a hundred percent success rate would be all of these five star, I mean four stars. I'm not sure on the exact amount. I will probably put it down in the description below but you will also need 120 blood gems and 40,000 onyx which it's quite a lot um, I would honestly myself not use the 100% success rate I would, I would stick to the 10% rate and just 12 blood gems here and there not really going like all the time um, because it's actually a good chance to roll the five if you think about it 10 percent is pretty well compared to banners that are three percent chance on um five star pulls so i would say as my tip just roll the 10 percent chance with your blood gems it's because you're not spending as much and just take your time with the first one which is the four star restoration and then eventually you will gain that mileage you are and claim your five star next we have oversoul which is which costs six five star dupes summon a guaranteed five star child by using five star base rarity child the oversoul tab is honestly the most popular one because a lot of veteran players or early on players do get these childs that aren't useful or you just get so many dupes of. So what you would do here is pick six five star child's base rarity, which would be like this girl right here. I would need five more childs and then you caught and then you put in 5,000 onyx to reincarnate them. And you will receive one of the childs here. As well as uh, restoration, I forgot to say, when you claim it will obviously be one of these childs listed here. The last tab here, which is the 6 star level 60 tab, you will need 3 childs of 6 star level 60 metamorphosis reincarnate max level 6 star childs as a 5 star child, guaranteed. So this one is probably the most expensive one. Um, I would not prefer this last tab unless it came down to the Lisa's lessons that we just had. The Lisa's lessons allowed us here let me show you guys allowed us to receive 
six star um, six star um, evolved four star childs. So like this girl right here, she's a four star child at base, but we got her at six star from the least lessons for free. So if you were to pick those four stars, and you don't really need them if you're a veteran um, right now, because later on modes will come that you do need them. But um, if you would be willing to give up these four star um, level 60 plus 6 childs, you can just put them into the house of reincarnation and receive a 5 star child if you need it. But I would not go about evolving a child to 6 star and then bringing it here unless your resources are very high and you can afford the materials to um, do this. So I would say the main one you would want to focus on is the Oversoul tab, following by Restoration and Metamorphosis last. So those are the three tabs explained and it's pretty simple to understand. Um, let's explain the summon list a bit more. The summon list obviously is, are, consists of six childs that you would like to summon for. So you can pick any of the childs that you have obtained in the past. You need to have at least one copy of the child to place them in this summon list. So if I don't have, let's say I don't have a Hatsune Miku, I cannot summon for her because she, I don't have that child obtained. So what you could do to check your um, childs, you could go to your collection or archive and you will see here which childs you have if their pictures lit up. So if I don't have, let's say, this Davi, Swimsuit Davi, I would like her in, in my House of Reincarnation, but I don't have my initial copy, so I cannot put her in there. So that's the House of Reincarnation explained. Um, sorry for stuttering a bit, I'm just trying to uh, put out more information of videos now. So yeah, I hope you guys got some good information out of this video. And I will also be linking the uh, Destiny Child official um, House of Reincarnation guide in the description if you have any questions or um, concerns about the House of Reincarnation or you guys could just ask me in the comments below and I will be sure to answer you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.